ng hilaw. So for today, we're gonna have um, a side dish na for sure, it's gonna be available here in the Philippines because um, all the ingredients are from here. So I won't be using anything that's really, really complicated. And I'm sure that this will be loved by you guys because this is going to be nutritious and I'm sure um, you can use it in bibimbap or even a side dish itself. Okay, so I will show you the main ingredients. It's actually ampalaya or bitter gourd. Yan. So what we need are the following. This one, I cut it into small pieces. Yan yung kalalaki. Yan. So, this is around 4 pieces na less than um, 1 ruler or, or 12 inches. And then I have here the whole um, garlic cloves. So, if you want to add more, it's up to you guys. Black pepper. And then I have a little bit of chili powder, but this is optional. And this one, hindi naman siya, hindi naman siya, ano, hindi siya Korean. So, siling labuyo. Yan. Marami akong frozen na siling labuyo. Then, of course, we have the salt. And sugar. And you will be surprised, I'll be using datu puti, suka, and of course, water. So, there you have it. First of all, I'm gonna put just, just, um, salt. To make it sure that the bitter gourd is not so going to be very bitter. And then mix it up together. And then put some water in it. And after 15 minutes, I will just remove the water. So let's put some water. Of course, make it sure that you have washed it already, guys, before you put the salt so let's leave it for 15 minutes and then let's dry it after okay. there you go 15 minutes have passed so i'm just going to drain it drain it properly afterwards we're gonna put it already here So we have our bitter gourd or ampalaya. And now I'm gonna be putting also the garlic and then just mix it together. Now, what we're going to do is you need a very, very airtight co container, and I normally use glass so that it will not. It, you can easily make sure that um, it will be spread out evenly and it's airtight. It's really airtight. Okay, let's put the ingredients inside. If you don't want to use your hands, you may use gloves, but I'm very sure that my hands are clean. <laughs> Just, you know, try to try to um, press it together so that it will be all compact. Well, it depends on you guys if how much do you want your your um, ampalaya and um, bitter bird to have to be. So there. So now we're going to make the mixture. Okay, so I'm going to be using one cup of vinegar. Let's say that's one cup already. <laughs> I'm not sure about the measurements, guys. Ah, I'm sorry. And then we'll be putting some sugar on it. I'm going to put around one and a half. And then just try to mix it together. And I'll 
put some black pepper on it. And then, we're gonna mix it with, we're gonna put another one cup of water. I want it a little bit spicy, so I'm gonna be putting quite plenty. But then, this is optional also. If you don't like it to be very spicy, or if you don't want it any spice at all, you don't need to put the chili powder and the siling na puyo. So, it's frozen. I wasn't able to tow it a while ago. That's the mixture. Then I'm gonna be putting the chili powder. Chili powder, just one spoonful. So now we have our mixture. Then let's just mix it together. This guy, uh, I mean, since this is um, a very healthy um, vegetable, some Koreans are doing this and they use it as part of their bibimbap. So, and a side dish as well. So, let's try it. Now, we're gonna be putting it inside the bottle. Nanginginig ako dito sa part na to. have to make it sure that we will be putting it on an airtight container. There. And then, I normally put plastic to make sure that there will be no air that's going to be going inside. Okay. So there you go. We have our pickled ampalaya or bitter gourd. And just leave it for a day outside and then uh, shake it sometimes for a little like this and then you have your pickled one and you can use this one as part of your side dish as part of as part of your baby pop and it's really really good I'm telling you or just put gochujang with your rice in this one and then use the seasoned kit to wrap it up it's very delicious so guys, I hope you like this one. So for other interesting Korean dishes that's been adopted here in the Philippines, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel, like and share this video. Until next time.